Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, second video. Doing a say forecast for today's second video. So as it was on a Wednesday, we're having a look at weather for the next 10 to 14 days in the United States. I shall get on that for you in a moment. To say at first, video you see was our 6am upload. We've got a 10 to 14 day of all the red features coming up for you uh, sort of early afternoon. And then tonight we'll have Terry Scully's February forecast. So please like, share, subscribe on all the videos. And thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Terry's forecast coming up at around 7pm. Right, so you're going to begin by having a look at what's going on in uh, American terms of GFS, up air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Look at Chicago today. So the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Chicago. Very up and down at the moment. We're starting off a little bit above average. Still quite cold, but a little bit above average actually at the moment. Got a cold plunge coming over the next couple of days. Uh, then things will uh, lift up a little bit. The temperature, another plunge there. Then lifting back up. And then that's a more general... Um, cold trend as we go in towards the middle part of February and there are some very 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 cold ensemble members there going all the way down to minus 20 at 850 kph and even lower during this uh, sort of middle part of February period. Precipitation wise uh, got some uh, rain and snow pushed through now primarily snow I would have thought uh, as we get this drop in the temperature, but relatively dry uh, beyond that, and then perhaps getting more unsettled around the middle part of February. Of course, if it gets very, very cold, then uh, any precipitation is inevitably going to be falling as snow. We have a quick look at the uh, snow row. So here we go. Yeah, we have got snow pushing through today, bringing that drop in the temperature. Plenty of snow for uh, Chicago. And then uh, beyond that, it goes a little bit dry. It could be a bit more snow around the 7th and the 8th of February. Then after that, it looks like the snow spikes are really increasing any time from around the 10th of February onwards. Temperature anomalies from the uh, 2nd to 10th of February in the United States are looking like that. Really cold across the south and uh, also, in towards the mid, uh, in, also in towards the Midwest. So um, from like Texas up to uh, Great Lakes, uh, those areas uh, and all areas in between really uh, looks really, really cold. And again, especially around the southern states, actually freezing cold down there. The eastern part of America, the southeastern corner, is not quite as cold through there. But I think over the next few days, the trend will be to push this cold air further east was it's starting off a little bit milder at the east of the seaboard at the moment but i think these cold temperatures will be progressing eastwards through the day out west um some areas are quite cold this area just here is pretty cold on the west coast itself it looks relatively mild and then we've got this milder gap just here but overall it is a cold scene really across many parts of states and precipitation wise it's dry in the west big ridge of high pressure there otherwise uh, actually slightly above average precipitation and a lot of that is going to be snow you know uh, this area from Texas up to the Great Lakes uh, and then in towards the North East. That's all going to be snow, really, um, as, uh, as the temperatures are so very, very cold. Right, so let's start having a look at some chart data. Then this is how the GFS midnight run is uh, looking. Now, we've got high pressure just off the east coast. But that is bringing up something a little bit less cold or milder up the eastern seaboard. However, a trough of low pressure is out across Canada and it's waiting to push southwards once again. That's taking that band of snow through Chicago, for example, and then we'll drop the temperature. So over the next couple of days, we're going to find winds going into the northeast through the Midwest in particular. This area of low pressure running up the eastern, eastern side will take uh, rain, probably, up the east coast but on the northern edge a lot of that could turn to uh, snow as we get through in towards the final stages of the week and then that low pressure clears out into the Atlantic we pull the wind into the north so going uh, a lot colder as we get through into the weekend over the uh, you know over the eastern side meanwhile out west I'm talking about west out west we've got a ridge of high pressure that's keeping things relatively dry and mild on the western side of America the action in terms of cold and snow really is through the midwest and in the east once again Early next week, uh, we're digging the jet stream samples again. There's another trough of low pressure beginning to uh, form just here. So that will take more snow from uh, Canada into these northern states. That'll probably push out through the Midwest. And eventually, I suspect that will find its way into the east as well. As another little trough of low pressure, another area of low pressure, brings an even colder plunge of air by uh, the end of next week. This is Friday the 11th, even colder plunge of northerly winds from Canada, uh, pushing southwards through the Midwest, taking a lot of snow uh, with it. So, uh, again, it really is like Midwest, northern, northeastern parts of America where the action is. On the east coast, I think there will be some cold weather at times pushing through, but here there will be some uh, moderation. But certainly like the northern and midwestern states, there's going to be plenty of uh, really cold and snowy weather to come. 
By the middle of next, uh, by the middle of the month, I should say, uh, 16 February, high pressure is back in over the east and starting to draw up something a little bit milder onto those, um, you know, onto those uh, central and eastern parts of America. Meanwhile, the rich in uh, across West America is pulling back into the Pacific. So it looks like by the middle of February and second half of the month, things perhaps start turning colder and more unsettled, like from the Rockies westwards towards those more western states. So maybe second half of February we'll see a bit of a change in pattern with eastern America going a little bit uh, warmer and drier, maybe a little bit milder and drier, and western parts of America perhaps turning a bit colder and more unsettled. Just have a quick look at the upper air temperatures. We're going to go that. Uh, right, so this is happening as currently with the upper air temperatures. So relatively mild up the eastern side, relatively mild out west. Uh, many between have this massive area of uh, really cold air. Now, over the next few days, we're going to find that very cold air pushing eastwards. So um, all the way into the east, uh, eastern coastal areas by uh, the weekend, it will turn freezing cold. Then that lists out a little bit by Sunday, but only ahead of another plunge of uh, very cold air. And again, all these plunges of cold air do bring lots of snow with them. Meanwhile, you'll see that out west, it does remain relatively mild through those western states with that area of high pressure. Another shot of really cold up rare temperature there uh, with that area of low pressure that I showed you digging in around the 11th of February. Um, going extremely cold uh, across many, many parts. Very good. Extent of cold from the Rockies all the way to the East Coast by the time you get through to Valentine's Day. Uh, so extremely cold. Uh, then again, out west, it does remain relatively mild through there. So LA, um, that's going to be the place to be for anyone who doesn't like cold weather. And of course, down into Florida too. Uh, and then we get through to the very end of this GFS midnight run, and you see it's just beginning to get a little bit milder up the east side, and the cold air it looks like it's starting to back further westwards then, a little bit. So I think by by the time we get through to second half February, cold might start to relocate more towards the west as the east begins to go a little bit milder. However, it is still extremely cold across many parts of central eastern Canada, and further cold shots I think can be expected. Right, uh, this is how the uh, ECMWF is looking. So again, we've got a ridge on the east side today, bring something a little bit milder on the east side, but the next northerly shot is on the way. That's going to push through over the next few days. It will take snow through the Midwest into the east at the end of the week and into the weekend. And then over that cold air, we'll have high pressure into the weekend. We bring another shot of colder air through uh, into those Midwestern states through the early part of next week, but not as extensively so with the uh, Euro as the GFS is showing. Uh, and we get through to day 10, and then again, we've got this low pressure through the Midwest into the Northeast that will bring, you know, heavy um, snow through there. Cold is trying to dig in, but it's not digging in as much, I don't think, with the um, with the ECM as uh, as the GFS is showing. Up there, temperature-wise, uh, that's looking like that. So, um, yeah, you can see, like, the cold air is pushing through. It does eventually make it onto the East Coast by the, uh, by the weekend, but not for all that long. And then it sort of lists out through the early part of next week, relatively mild, actually, through the early part of next week. As many parts of America would be uh, ECM. And then another cold shot just beginning to gather pace around the 12th, uh, 11th, 12th of February uh, with that trough of low pressure, but not as extensively so as the GFS is shown. So a little bit of odds actually. The, the uh, Euro, the ECM, not as cold, not as snowy, not as wintry as uh, the GFS. Meanwhile, to the west, though, uh, you can see, but again, it does remain a relatively mild scene out there with, um, uh, you know, the upper air temperature looking pretty warm. Right, you have a quick look at CFSE2, and then we're done. So it's a 500 millibar heights breaking down to week period. So the first week period takes from the 1st to the 7th of February. The coming week, we'll have high pressure in the east and out west, and a trough of low pressure digging in in between. So that high pressure will pull up something a little bit milder. You can see that this trough of low will eventually push the cold air eastwards. Uh, yet again, another cold shot will push through. Week two will be the uh, 8th to 14th of February. Again, high pressure through here, just off the east coast. Low pressure is around there, and then a ridge is out here. So it looks like things are set up rather northwest, south east. Jet stream and doing something a little bit like that, probably. Uh, week three is going to be the 15th to 21st of February. Again, high pressure pulled out to the Pacific. High pressure. Uh, off the east coast in between, we've got this big trough of low pressure, but again, it's doing something a bit like that. And then finally, week four, back to trough towards the west. So this will start to take the colder air back in 
to the west, where it hasn't really been since New Year. Uh, so cold air will begin to back in to the west, and with this ridge strengthening in both the south and the east, we will start to pull up milder air into these uh, sort of uh, central and eastern states, I would have thought. Uh, Temperature-wise, we look like that. So it is a little bit milder off the east coast this week. This week, one burst, 7th of February. Uh, cold in between, and that cold air will be progressing eastwards. Go through to uh, week 2, which is the 8th to 14th February. Milder to the west and north. Colder to the east and south. Week 3 will be the 15th to 21st of February. So milder then in the east. Cold through the Midwest into the northeast, and then relatively mild out towards the west. And then quite a big change in week four. It's the 27th, 28th of February, going milder through many of the southern, east, and south eastern states, and going colder in the north and in the northwest. And then lastly, precipitation wise, so it's going to be relatively dry in the west, uh, rather wet in the east, of course, with those cold temperatures that will all be snow. Uh, then we've got week, uh, t week 2, which is the 8th to 14th February. Generally quite dry in this week across many parts of America. Week 3 is going to be the 15th to 21st of February. Dry in the west, a little bit better in the uh, east and southeast perhaps. And then week 4 is the 22nd to 28th February. It goes drier in the south, but it will be wetter up in the north. And that's your USA forecast. So further cold shots uh, to come over the uh, next week or two, you know, for many Midwest and North and, and East America. But there is a discrepancy there between the GFS and the, uh, and the ECM, and the Euro. You know, the, the GFS is definitely the colder of the two for next week and beyond, actually, into the middle part of um, February. Um, and I think the, the ECM is probably a little bit toned down, but I've got a feeling it'll be more in, in line with what the GFS is showing, given how cold it's been over the past week or two. Mid-February, second half of February, we could start to back that cold air more towards the west and begin to warm things up in the east. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens as well. I think we're into the coldest part of the winter for America, you know, but the uh, Midwest, anyway, and the, and the east, uh, and the northeast. I think we're into the coldest part of the winter from, like, mid-January to mid-February. And then I think second half of February, we'll probably see things getting less cold in the east and the northeast and we'll bat the cold back further to the west where it was at the beginning of the winter of course that will be something to watch out for second half of the month right okay so that's the usa forecast for uh this week we're doing it all over again uh next wednesday we're going to be back shortly with a 10 to 14 day uh for the uk and you know for northern europe and then we've got terry skull it's february forecast coming up tonight this week's usa forecast that's all for now and thanks for watching